Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. As you know, today we had Blue Lagoon open in the road to Blue Lagoon open it as well and I used the chance to visit the area and launch the drone to the eruption site so it's my first flight to this volcano as you see I have made it safely in the return and back safely as well in fact I made three flights but I do not have really long distance drone so I can't go longer than two kilometers but as you see a uh, volcano is erupting and is very much active. Uh, we will go over the latest interview with Magnus Tumi Gudmundsson, professor of geophysics at the University of Iceland, and we will discuss the major points that he touched on in this interview. The land seems to be rising again in Svartsengi and the end of the volcanic eruption at Sunnukagigar is still not in sight. More magma is inflowing into the magma seal below the Svartsengi than is flowing out of it. And the inflow is clearly not decreasing. This is what Magnus Tumi Gudmundsson, professor of geophysics at the University of Iceland, said in the interview two days ago. The eruption at Sunuka Gigar began with much force on March 16th and became the most powerful one among the recent eruptions of Reykjanes volcano. The power of the eruption decreased rapidly but in the last few days changes were not significant. Two craters are still active at the eruption site though the smaller one is fading away. Uh, I took off uh, with my drone from Northern Lights in parking and here I'm heading towards the volcano uh, which is about two kilometers, two kilometers distance from Northern Lights in parking by straight line about four kilometers from Blue Lagoon by straight line. Here we are approaching the defense walls to the uh, west of Volcano and there are some vehicles probably uh, rescue teams who are on guard for illegal hikers in the area the most of data shows that the eruption has stayed very much the same for quite some time and we don't see any signs of major changes it is not a big lava flow, it's about 5 to 10 cubic meters per second, similar to Fagradal's fat back in 2021. But it's very common in such eruptions that last for a while, such uh, small, steady lava flows, says Professor Goodmanson. And there seems to be pretty much a direct uh, flow through the seal and the Swartsengi so we seem to be in a fairly constant supply and it is impossible to say how long this will last says magnus to me goodmanson now geoscientists on the other hand are starting to see signs of uh, land rise again as we told earlier and wave cross image showing deformation from march 18th to april 3rd shows that the land has risen by three centimeters in Svarsengi during that period. Landscape changes have been very small, but in the last two to three days, we have noticed the signs that the land rise has started again indeed. So uh, the inflow from below is clearly not decreasing, he says. That is to say, uh, more magma is flowing into the sail then flows out of it through the volcano. Uh, therefore, there are no signs that the end of the eruption will be visible anytime soon. Magnus says it is possible that the eruption will go on for several months as it happened back in 2021 with Fagradal Svelt. We need to be ready for this to last for quite some time. 
this fourth eruption at Sunukagigar in the last four months has lasted up to 10 times longer than its predecessors, according to Magnus, yet this eruption has not lasted one-tenth of what the eruption of Fagradosfat lasted back in 2021, he adds. And what happens if uh, this eruption goes on much longer? Magnus presents several scenarios. The lava could, for example, pile up move in a continuous flow along the lava walls and could even end up in the ocean. Another scenario is that it goes over the berms. The third scenario would be that the lava builds up a lot and moves in a northerly direction. And now we are flying back, crossing the protection walls, the lava berms. So it is impossible to say how far the lava will go if this volcano will last for a month or longer. But if uh, this is similar to what it has been, uh, all its progress will be very slow, he adds. Uh, the magma flows under Svartsenki have been fairly constant for more than five months since the end of October, uh, though you can say that this uh, this is a chain of events that has been going on here for three to four years, but not constantly as the first uh, disturbances in this area with significant uh, seismic activity in some land rise were there already in place before Fjordas erupted in 2021. Then it's just a question of how long it will continue like this sporadically, but it is not an unlikely scenario that this eruptive state uh, with either a long continuous eruption or repeated small eruptions will continue into the summer or into the autumn. There is no way to tell, says Magnus. Here you see northern lights in Hatau with the red roof. But it is uh, just something that we have to prepare for. It is a long way to deal with this. Now you can see the geothermal power plant of Svartsangi. Svartsangi, as I told, translates as a black metal. This plant supplies hot water to Kaplovik, the airport and neighboring communities. And right behind it you see Thorbjörd volcano north of Grindavik and Blue Lagoon is visible in the background it was fully packed with people when I arrived there to the front you see Silica Hotel where they cure skin diseases as you see Blue Lagoon parking was full of cars Uh, luckily, the winds um, were going from the north to the south and the volcanic gases were going south towards the ocean and not towards the Blue Lagoon. I guess Blue Lagoon uh, opening times will be dependent on the direction of the wind. Uh, I wish you all the best, uh, peace and blessings from Iceland, be well. Take care of yourself and your beloved ones. God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of the footage. Peace and blessings from Iceland.